coding made easy. So what's up everybody and this should be the last tutorial on on getting our maps to actually display and what we're going to do is we're going to go to our map class now so now we're going to create our load content our unload content our updates and our draw okay so what we're going to do now in our map class is in the private section we are going to create a vector of our layer and we'll call it layers and what we're going to take in, in our load content is a map ID so we'll just call it map ID and we'll make a string to it as well just in case we need to make like we need to get it or whatever map so we'll store map ID in here so so we'll just say that this map ID is equal to map ID so uh so yeah so we we have we have our map id and what we're gonna do we're just gonna say uh i'll just create a layer instance because we only have one layer right now and i'm gonna say layers dot push back and i'll put the layer instance in there and we'll say layers dot load layers zero dot load content and for the layer ID, I'm just going to put on layer one. And for the map ID, I'm going to pass in the map ID. Now, what the one thing that I said I was going to show you is of the keyword this. So what we do, uh, we can use this and we can pass in the map ID like that to get the current instance or whatever. But what I was going to do is in what I was going to do in the load content was I was going to pass in an instance of map right in case we needed some of the elements from map because if we look at this file right here I could I set it at the top of the file that we loaded in some map properties right so I was I did this to intend for the map to actually load these properties but we actually have to pass in these properties to the layer so the layer knows these properties so how would we get it well, we'd have to pass in a map instance now if we were to pass in a map instance like so in order to get the current instance of map all we'd have to do is just make a pointer and just say this like that and what that would do is pass in the current map instance so therefore we wouldn't have to take in a map parameter like that to pass it in and if that doesn't make any sense to you it's okay it's really fine uh, but uh, that's just something that I was thinking of showing you guys, but uh, It's fine. We, we, we can do that later on or probably you guys already know that uh, so We are just gonna pass in we'll just say this map ID and Yeah, we're gonna pass in the the map ID like so so if we go back to our tau map uh, tau dot H and Oh, I put a zero instead of O. But if we go to our tile dot uh, CPP, oh yeah, so we destroy our bitmap like so. But if we go to our layer dot unload content, what we got to do is in our unload content, we got to loop through each one of our tiles and call unload content, so we can unload it. And we also would make a call to AL load I mean AL destroy bitmap and we would destroy the tile sheet sorry we would destroy the tile sheet okay and so in our unload content we'll just make a call to layer zero unload content and in our layer class I don't believe we drew it either so what we're gonna do is just loop through each one of the tiles 
and we'll just say tiles I dot draw and we'll display it and let's check in here and yeah that would draw it correctly so in our map dot cpp uh, we'll just make a call to layers zero dot draw and we'll just add in the update even though we have nothing in there but we'll just update add it in for when we need to when we're going to add something to it later so we'll, we're adding all that stuff in there so we've got everything set up and now what we got to do is go to our gameplay screen we have to open the cpp file and we need the header file so in the header file we are going to pass in our map.h so get an instance of our map class so in here really easy easy peasy uh, so our map ID will be map 1 okay and for our unload content we'll just say map unload map.update or actually this should go after cause we'll probably update map elements based on the players movements and we'll draw the map before the player because we don't want to draw the map on top of the player now uh uh so so this is it so just to show you all the files i gotta convert all the files anyways because it's in the wrong folder uh so i'll just take this load and i'll put it in here so we have uh in our map we have our map one and I shouldn't make it a dot map file or you know what we'll just make it dot text uh, so let's just quickly go up here say dot txt just to make our lives easier so uh, we're gonna load in our our layer and yeah so we we have our map file in there we load in our layer load in the tile sheet and I, I have a tile sheet image that I put in there and just to show you the tile sheet image so oh I didn't even pass that in either so it wouldn't have worked so I put it in a, a folder called tile sheets and I'll show you this in just a second so in this tile sheets folder I have something like this and it just contains two different color tiles 32 by 32 and the first one's a transparent one but it doesn't really matter about that but uh, yeah so th those are my tiles that we're going to be cropping out and so what we're going to do is we're going to build this and let's see if we have any errors I feel like I'm missing out on telling you guys something I feel like I am but I don't know what it is so if I forgot to state something, let me know in the description below, but I feel like I'm forgetting to tell you guys something. Hopefully I remember by the end of the video. So we've got a linker error to, uh, to set tiles. And the problem was I forgot to do that. So remember to use the scope operator so let's run this again so the build succeeded so let's see if it draws to the screen and voila our map gets drawn to the screen the way it should be drawn okay so that is it for this tutorial if you have any questions which i'm sure you guys must have uh, don't forget to comment in the description below and we'll get into some tile collision and all that good stuff uh, very soon. So hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for watching and bye for now.